Okay, you knew this was coming, I think. <laughs> this is a uh, 1952 Seaberg jukebox mechanism from an M100C jukebox, the uh, AKA Happy Days model. This is how to take it apart to get to what we have to get to on this one, which is the clutch, the most frequently ignored part of the mechanism because it's so damn hard to get to. So we're going to take the uh, uh, thing apart. I've got the screws removed in the interest of saving time on the video. To do this, the plastic parts are already gone from this. This is the way this came in. And anyway, uh, we begin by to get the rack off this thing, which you kind of have to do to get to the back of the mechanism where the clutch is located. Uh, take the hood off. There are two uh, springs from these two posts. They're already off on each side, one on each side, and one large head screw. Then the hood lifts off. Then there are four screws that hold in the selection now playing chrome bar. You take the four screws to one, four, one, two, three, four. Then you remove this like this, kind of like hooks on here, and then you slide it off of the popularity meter assembly and the lamp assembly for the selection now playing. And you just slide it off like that. All right, and that gets that out of the way. And this is just going to flop now. Okay, the next thing, you've got four Allen head screws, large Allen head screws, down here on the legs of the record rack. One, two, and two on the other side. The pin bank, the selection pin bank is already off this machine. You can take this off and leave the pin bank on it. I take the pin bank off it. You can do it either way. And then now you can just lift the record rack off. I'm going to point out something else as this record rack is out of the way. The rack is out of the way now. All right, put that on the floor. Um, <clears throat> if by chance it is stuck in the play position, you won't be able to pull the rack out unless... Let me see if I can get some more light on this thing. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, this is the transfer arm which carries the record. Oh, nice. It's broken off. The little, uh, the little duck bills on this thing are broken off that uh, carry the record from the rack into the mechanism. But what I was going to say is if this is in the transfer position, up he located up here with a record in the play position on the turntable, you won't be able to pull the rack out. You can put your thumb or your hand through the record rack and you can push down on this to to keep it out of the way, you can also do it with a long screwdriver. It's under a spring tension. You can push that down to keep it out of the way while you lift the rack out. Then we can get to the clutch. And I'm going to uh, pause this or end this video. We're going to go to the uh, the next video. We're going to show you the back of this mechanism with the clutch.